right. I asked you if anybody of you needed to know how to do something. Somebody sent me an email once in the hole. Let me read it to you real quick. Dear Rolo, I see that you work with a lot of colors, and I was wanting to know, do you ever work with just black and gray? I see a lot of these pictures that people are doing that have just everything black and gray and everything else on the picture is in color. Certain areas are colored. I need to redo some pictures that I have to do, but I do not know how to do this. Can you help me? No problem. I'm also thinking about doing a little bit of cropping of the background. Um, I'm going to redo a picture that I already have done just because it's got some really cool features in it. And I'm also going to do some sky replacement. All right. Let's get started. Let's remember, you can't do it. Alright, I've already got my Photoshop already open. And I got a picture I want to redo. So... First thing I'm going to do is push Control J. That duplicates it. Go to Image Adjustment Saturation. And I'm going to go down Saturation and bring it all the way down to Gray. You notice I have two layers. What I'm going to come over now is to my um, brush, which is my eraser. Make sure that your softness is set as low as you can get it. All right, I'm gonna bring in a little bit, and then I am going to select my eraser again. And I'm gonna erase all the gray, black and white flower. There we go. Make sure when you do this, you don't get too close to the edge. To bring the other colors in, you just want to bring the flower in, nothing else. If you notice, I just did that. Let me shorten this brush down. And that way, you don't get too close to the edge. If you do, I'll show you here in a minute how to fix that. But, alright, let's make sure we erase all this. Nope, still got a bunch there. Got a bunch. So I got a bunch. And to uh, auto select, just hit Control D. That makes sure, makes it auto select. If you just want to hit your wand, which we W, or eraser is E. A little tip for the day. What I'm doing here is just erasing. The little bit that was left over. That looks pretty good. Alright. Now I'm going to select the bottom layer, which is my color layer. Come up to adjustment. Adjustment. Come down to hues. Well, if you mess with hues, all it's going to do is just change the colors around. We don't want to do that. We want to bring the intensity up. And there you go. And now, what am I going to do? I'm going to... Hmm. Alright, I, I told you I would show you how to fix the... Where I brought the color of her wrist in, her hand in and all that. You're going to pick your snub tool. Whoa, too big. Bring that down. Farther. Right there, that's good. And you're gonna bring this in. Why is the gray working? What the hell is going on here? <laughs> that's right, the color selection. Alright, this time the gray is coming. There you go, see? It's bringing the gray in, you're snubbing. Gray is in a little bit. 
get rid of the wrist colors and that looks about good to me zoom out now I am coming over I'm gonna make another layer I'm gonna pick my brush oh, make sure that you have your basic brush selected Make sure that your softness is down, not all the way, but pretty close. I'm going to do random colors here. Let's see what I'm going to do here in a second. <coughs> and when you pick random colors, just try to make sure you're not picking exactly the same color that was already on the flower. If you notice, I picked the blue, it's a little more intense. And I'm gonna pick orange, more orange, that's a little bit more intense. I like this darker pinkish color. And all I'm really trying to do is just cover up the whole flower area. Don't worry about going over. That's cool. I'll show you how to fix that here in a minute. And let's bring my brush down a little bit. I want this blue to be more intense. Looks like polka dots, but you'll see what I'm gonna do with it here in a minute. Getting pretty much all the edges covered up with a little purple. Now you're gonna come up to filter, come down to blur, gamma blur, which is your fifth blur down. And if you notice, all it does is takes the colors and blurs them together. Take that layer, put it in the middle of the other two layers. Now you're going to double click on it, come up to blend mode, I'm going to scroll through them, I'm probably going to use overlay because overlays are real good, well, let's see what else we got, oh, I like that right there, let's see what else, <laughs> yeah there ain't nothing I really want. Alright, that's what I'm going to use. Now I'm going to take the black over if you notice what it's doing. It's bringing the darker colors in from the other one. I'm going to push Alt. It splits them, so it's more of a fade, a slow fade in. Now the colors are so intense, but if you notice, they're different. Alright, push Control, Shift, E, make them merge together. Zoom out. What am I doing here? Um, I already got a, a selection already, so you, I've already showed you how to do that in my last video. Just want this video to go a little faster. I'm going to merge them together. What I did is took the background out and just had the two main characters. 
right here what I'm doing is taking from the horizon down and I'm gonna keep the beach not the the sky the sky is too plain for me close that out I'm gonna paste it you could push control V to paste it but I'll bring that down bring it over stretch it Good. Double click it. Bring it to the bottom. Now, if you notice, they look like drunken sailors. So I'm going to push Control T. First, I'm going to select them. Push Control T. Then I'm going to rotate them. They still look like they're leaning backwards. Hold Control. See how you can move them in their di dimension. They're too tall now. Let go of control. Bring them down. She's a little too wide. I'm going to bring her in. Thin her up. There we go. Bring them down. I'm going to hit. Double click. Come up and paste. Uh, place. Not paste, but place. I'm going to get out of that folder. I'm going to come over to land and sky. Alright. Come down. The sky with the sun behind the clouds. It's kind of intense, not too intense, but kind of intense. Alright, I'm going to shrink it down and drag it over. Double click it. Move it to the bottom. See, now it's not such a boring background. It's not a boring skyline. And when you paste or place, it always locks it. It's unlocked the easy way. is just grab your paintbrush and hit. Double click it and it'll say, do you want to unlock it? And just hit yes. Brought saturation up. I'm going to bring the curves down just to darken it a little bit. I'm going to take the top end a little bit to the up so the sunlight still comes out. See, now I'm going to come over to colors. I'm going to try to color correct the background with the C. I mean, you could just go and gray this all out and not have to do this. But, I personally like doing this, just so I know it's correct. The one thing I like doing is color correcting everything so it all matches. Because you never know if I'm going to use this for a color background in the future, or... I know the steps now. Now I'm going to select the C invert it hit mask create a mask then I'm gonna feather not a major feather it's just a have the rising seem like it goes out farther than what it really does <clears throat> and select the two characters hit control shift E merges them together then I'm gonna take all the saturation out so it's black and gray Okay, bring them back up. Now I'm going to take it one step further. I'm going to merge them together. Come up to filter. The next thing we're using is Magic Bullet. It's called um, Photo Look. This program is awesome. It costs a lot of money, but if you have the money, it is awesome to have. What I'm trying to do right now is do more of a, like a 30s wedding photo. Where it's got that golden hint to it. But right here, what I'm doing right now is taking the blur in, so your focus point is on them. 
All right, I'll come up and save it. Put it up on my web page. Hit a couple buttons. I don't care what it's called. Select JPEG. Get all that. Save it. Make sure it's large enough for low. Here's the before. And here is the after. Alright, wait. Bye.